Signs that you're bad at your job? Well, first one, just keep a note that you might be left out, keep getting left out of things. So the other day when, when you and Bjorn went down to check out the studios and kind of like left me in the room, was that just, that was just a fluke, eh? Not like... No, 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 what? you weren't invited. Oh, cool. Yes. So another sign is your boss avoids you. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Another sign to look out for, your workload gets a little bit lighter. Oh, that's a good one, actually, because we often complain when it gets heavier. But if it's lighter, it might be a bad sign. It, it is a bad sign. You know, people take responsibility off you. That's not a good way to go. Mm-hmm. You start to see other employees taking over your work. Yep. Yeah. I can see how that would feel like the end is nigh. Yep. You're allowed to slack off. Now, if, you, if somebody wants you around, mm-hmm. you need to be on top. You need to be on point, right? Yeah. You're not allowed to slack off. So if you're allowed to slack off, then that's a bad sign. But sometimes I find that one confusing because if someone's been in the company for like, I don't know, 15 years, often they're given a little bit more leeway, a bit of grace. So maybe could that one just be... I don't know, a bit of a mixture. Hey, Bjorn's allowed to do what he wants to do. <laughs> I mean, that's up to him. It's not It's not a sign that he's going to be let go. Finally, Becky, mm-hmm. a sign that you're probably bad at your job is you're not invited to as many team meetings. Oh. That's a doozy. That's a biggie. The thing here, though, is um, you wouldn't show up to them even if you were invited. <laughs>